In this video, we put Sierra's six millimeter, 107 grain match king bullet to the test. Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. If you know Sierra's bullets, you know their Sierra match king bullets or SMKs have a legendary reputation. In this video, we're gonna really focus in on the 107 SMK for six millimeter, which is a very versatile, very popular bullet. So we're gonna basically cover the specs. We're gonna talk about what cartridges and applications these six millimeter bullets are good for. We're gonna share some lab data quantifying the consistency of these bullets. And then we've got shooting results with 6GT and 6ARC. Big boy and the little boy right here. And then we'll wrap it up with some closing thoughts. So about this 107 SMK, of course it's a 243 diameter bullet. That's why you'd have cartridges like 243 Win, and then you'll have things like six millimeter Creedmoor. They both use a 243 bullet. Weight is 107 grains, which is kind of in that popular upper end of the six millimeter weight range. Uh, you're gonna need a one and eight twist, which is pretty common to have either that or faster. I believe the GT here and the six arc both have one and seven and a half twist barrels. So these are gonna be e even faster than what we need, which is good. Sectional density of 0.259. And then I'm gonna reference for G1 and G7, the applied ballistics data that they provided for this, which was 0 0.508 for G1 and 0 0.261 for G7. Uh, they're available in boxes of 500 and 100. This is the box of 500 here. And this is just going to be a really good, well-rounded performer in a variety of applications. Typically things like long range shooting, match shooting, that sort of thing. You could use these for varmiting as well. We did not do any ballistics gel testing because these are match bullets. So some examples of cartridges, six millimeter Creedmoor, six Dasher, six GT, six Arc. And there's gonna be a bunch more that these bullets are gonna work in. There's a, there's a ton of six cartridges out there like six BR and a bunch of stuff. So these are a couple of complete, the recent rifle builds that I did and I thought it would be kind of cool to put those to the test in these with these cartridges. Okay, so in the lab, we looked at a few things. We looked at weight consistency, we looked at diameter consistency, and we looked at length consistency. And overall, these bullets were very, very consistent, especially with weight consistency and length consistency compared to the other results that I checked these against in my archive of lab data for bullets. So we took 10 bullets, a sample of 10, we ran them through these tests with weight where 106.943 average. That is very close to the advertised 107 grain weight. An SD of 0 0.056 grains and an extreme spread of 0.145 grains. This is one of the best weight consistency results I've seen. And if you have consistent weight, you're likely to have relatively consistent uh, ballistic coefficient as well. And as Brian Litz has indicated in his books and in talking with him, the consistency of the BC is one of the most important factors for getting on target at long range because it affects vertical shot dispersion. Okay, diameter, 0.2424 inches average, an SD of only two ten thousandths of an inch and an extreme spread of six ten thousandths of an inch. So good results there. And then length, 1.2221 1 inches, average overall length for the bullet. Uh, an SD of nine ten thousandths of an inch and an extreme spread of 2.3 thousandths of an inch. For bullets that are formed this way, that are hollow point boat tails, that length data is actually really impressive. The consistency is, is really, really good. Okay, so. First set of results, the 6GT. I'm, I'm doing this in the order that I, sh I shot this stuff. You're gonna wanna check out our rifle build on this actually. The 6GT was really fun. We've got this in an XLR MV Pro. We also did a completely dedicated story on the custom Cerakote job with topographic map lines on there that we, that we lasered on that. And it doesn't just look good, it's also a really great shooter. So I started to go through some very simple OCW 
testing with this. We had four different charge weights. I shot five rounds each. And this is the, the full data set here that we saw as, as we were shooting. So interestingly, the velocity was between 3,000 and 3,120, which is really cooking along. Uh, the SDs varied from 13.1 to 24.1. So, and this is with Stayball Match, the new, the new powder. What was really impressive here was the, the groups. We had an average of 0.497 MOA. So the average of these groups in kind of a ladder style OCW test was less than a half MOA. So as I was shooting, I felt like, wow, these shots are going into really nice round groups. We've got really good precision here, the group size. And so uh, that was a really good test. And I think with further load development and maybe even throwing on the EC tuner break, you know, uh, and, and a bit more time with this, I think we could get those groups down even smaller, which is, which is awesome. Hey guys, I'm up here at the 100 yard mid mountain range. I just collected some results I wanted to share. So this is after I filmed the main part of the video. Uh, for review, I just finished this six arc bolt action build on a bat TR action with the Bartline one and seven and a half twist barrel, Timber Frontier stock by MDT. This thing is really cool. I noticed that with the 224 Valkyrie mag from my Valkyrie build, this thing feeds great. And what I wanted to start with was, A, I'm just shooting some fa factory ammunition and then also I did some loads with the Sierra 107s. 26.7, 26.9 and 27.1 grains. And check out the results. Really, really good stuff. The first group measured 0.643. The second group measured 0.457. These are all five shots at 100 yards. And the last group at 27.1 grains, 0.244. That's like 0.233 MOA approximately. So we've got the long shot camera system set up, which you can see um, as I'm showing you the groups here. This was a lot of fun. I think this rifle is going to do really well when we get into real low development. So excellent results with the Sierra 107s here. Okay. Back to the remainder of the video. So the conclusion, Sierra 107 SMK is a very consistent performer. And I know for a lot of people, a favorite. It hits the sweet spot for the newer generation of six millimeter cartridges, like the six Creedmoor, like the six Dasher and the six GT. One and eight stability requirement is easy to satisfy. Again, I have one and seven and a half on both of these rifles. So definitely completely good to go there with, with margin for error on that. Um, next, what would I do with these bolts next? So I'm kind of thinking six dasher. I know the, the Burger 105s shot really well in the six dasher that I built. And I think these 107s would do really well. Uh, and then six millimeter Creedmoor. I've got a few different six Creeds laying around. And uh, I know a lot of you shoot that in uh, disciplines like PRS and a lot of you would potentially use six creed for varminting and stuff like that. Definitely a popular cartridge and that one, one would be really great to experiment with. Okay, so that's uh, our results with the CR 107s. Look for these in a couple of the other stories that we've got going in parallel like this six arc rifle build and corresponding load development. My question for you is what has your experience been like with the Sierra 107 SMK? What have you, what cartridge have you loaded it in? What powder did you use? What rifle did you shoot it in? What kind of results do you get? Did you get for it? And what are you using it for? Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. That concludes this video. And that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're going to want to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. 
Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.